So welcome to this first course in linear algebra. Today we will be dealing with perhaps the most fundamental object in this branch of mathematics, and that is the vector space. So it is very important to uh, get these definitions down. So definition, right? What is a vector space? Um, a vector space V over a vector uh, over a field F uh, over a field F. Right, hopefully you know what a field is from your uh, abstract algebra course, um, is a collection or a set of objects over which two operations are defined. And the first of these is addition, right? It is denoted by this symbol right here. And it takes two objects from the vector field a a V, right? So you have to take the Cartesian product and it maps it to another element in V. So for example, um, or better, if we take two vectors A and B belonging to V, then they will get mapped to the element A plus B. And scalar multiplication instead takes one element from the field F and one element from the vector space V, and uh, it maps it to and vector space V. So if we take the element alpha belonging to F and the vector A belonging to V, then it will get mapped to alpha dot A. And remember, this is not the dot product or anything like that. The, uh, we'll see that later on. This is just scalar multiplication. We're multiplying a scalar by a, a vector. Okay, but this is not it because these two operations have to of, uh, have to satisfy a certain set of conditions. Okay, so for all vectors um, x, y, z belonging to V, and for all uh, elements alpha and beta of the field F over which the vector space is defined, we have these 10 um, conditions that must be met. So Vs1, this is the uh, first condition, and it says that addition is closed. What that means is if we take x, right, x plus y, then this must belong uh, to v. And similarly, Vs2 states the closure of scalar multiplication. So if I take alpha and multiply it by x, then this must also belong to v. Then Vs3 states that addition is commutative. So if we take x plus y, this must be equal to y plus x. Vs4 then says that addition is also associative. So it doesn't matter what order the addition I I is done, even when you have parentheses and all these uh, things. So for example here, if we sum x plus y first, and then add z, this is the same as doing x and then adding y plus z. Okay, so um, and this is, uh, th these are the main ones uh, that have to do with the uh, with addition. Um, then we have these properties for scalar multiplication. And the first one is obviously uh, um, distributivity. So this is distributivity in the first member, that means, uh, uh, sorry, in the second member. Okay, so if you take alpha, right, dot x plus y, this is the same as doing alpha dot x plus alpha, oops, not a vector, alpha dot y. Okay, and uh, uh, then we have vs6. Okay, so this was distributivity in the first member, the next one is distributivity in the, uh, in the second member. Okay, so if you do this, then we can simply do alpha dot x plus beta dot x. Okay, and then we also have uh, associativity for scalar multiplication. So if we take alpha, beta, x, and we take this scalar multiplication, then this is equal to alpha, beta, Right, this is multiplication in the field F, and then dot x, okay? 
And then we have a couple more. VS8 states that there must exist this special vector called the zero vector uh, belonging to the vector space V such that x plus zero is equal to x. Okay? And so um, whatever vector you take, if you sum it to zero to the zero vector, it gives it the initial vector. Then we have VS9, uh, which states that there must exist uh, the inverse of addition, uh, or the additive inverse of any vector x, and it must belong to v. Okay, so there must exist this vector here, negative x, such that if we add it to x, we get the zero vector. And then finally we have the, the last vector um, space condition, and that is that if we take the identity element of the vector field f, which we denote by 1, and do dot v, it gives, uh, oh sorry, x, then it gives x. Okay, and again, these have to be satisfied for every uh, vector x, y, z belonging to v, and every element alpha and beta of the field f. Okay, so these are, this is the uh, definition of um, a vector field, and we'll see how to use it to determine whether or not a certain set is a vector space or, or, um, or not.